Hey guys, this is Blucid. How's it going? Welcome to the final episode for Star Trek Online Let's Plays here with the Tenant, not the Tenant, Commander Kinpeck. At least the season finale. This is not this, the final for him, but we are starting to get to run out of, you know, homebrewed missions for him. The next things that will be coming up is going to be a bit of a uh, just featured episodes so we're not going to be seeing much of you know Ken Peck from here on out which is a shame because I rather like the idea of actually having him around for this so you can see my animosity about this now except for like Dominion things most likely he'll probably start popping up for his when it gets down to that. So, again, it's questionable. But, again, a lot of it is the same thing over, just a copy and paste of certain things, except for what they have changed for the Borg Advance. There is actually quite a bit of a change here. And again, it's different. And of course, you know, featured episodes, and of course, the current mission line. So again, it's going to be questionable. I'm not really confident that he will be around for long. Anyways, uh, Temporal Ambassador. This is just going to be a fun thing to go with. Hmm. Come on, good battle cruiser, okay. Anyways, uh, let's see here. You probably have already noticed that certain, uh, Let's see, uh... Zanel is, uh... Zanel's mission, you know, episode 9, was a bit of a long one. Technically, I should have put that into uh, a two-part uh, episode, but I didn't. You know, that was my fault on that. I didn't do that, but... Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's see here. Mm, let's see here. Yeah, there was a bit of a few things that could have been, um, different. The few things that could have been different about that is, um, for that particular mission of where Zanel was fighting against the, uh, uh, Borg adapted or, uh, heavily modified, uh, the Daredex that uh, Hakiv was commanding. I should have gone after the surrounding ships, but I didn't. So yeah, there was an actual death. Do you have a quest? Thank. Do you need? Oh, uh, <laughs> do you have sorry, a people. Name, Lothal, do you need it? Sorry about that, people. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think on the top of my head what to actually talk about certain things. For all my name, don't. Because otherwise I don't have much of a plan for this particular episode. Uh, Kempek, his future in uh, my Let's Play series is actually going to look a bit grim. He is not going to be uh, out. He's not going to be actually going to be lasting long, but when he pops up, it's usually by the, um... Probably by... Mm, thinking... You're just yes, my name is Tanae. Do... How can I assume? I'm the... If there's... 
Sorry about that, people. Campec is pro looking like you put uh, have a very, very smaller list of uh, featured episodes because of what's going to be happening. And most likely that's going to happen. There's just no way for me to actually, you know, go around it. I haven't seen you around here before, Captain. Got a minute to talk? I know. We tried to go. Me and my. We ended up. So, yeah, Kimpex is looking like he's going to actually um, not be going on much with the Let's Plays. He will probably pop up when certain things pop up, like featured episodes, getting that going with, which is going to be just a rinse and repeat type of thing. Not much of a walkthrough, playthrough type of thing. We need your my name. I know this. I'm from Star. Of course, here, take the. Yeah, she can be annoying sometimes. Got a minute to talk. Call. I know. Uh, let's see here. This place isn't what it's supposed. To. My name is something. I something. There's a few things that actually are questionable. Oh yeah, season nine. Uh, season nine update. This is actually one of the things I was looking forward to. Like I said, was. I was hoping more of an actual update to the crafting system for the game. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, otherwise, yeah, this is great because we now finally have a consistent timeline of where 2409 is now 2410. And this is great. That means that most of the things that were happening has been months and weeks on. Take it. Do you, need you know, months, weeks into the actual uh, game. You know, the actual timeline. So that means a lot has happened. A lot of it is really split off. But if you're focusing on one storyline from... Let's say, for example, if you're focusing on a Klingon Empire, unfortunately, your new character will be popping up about after the formation and alliance with the Federation and Klingon Empire for the uh, Rob Romulan Republic. What do you want? Ah, uh, let's see here. I have a triple. No, I just have power cells. Hmm. Eh, whatever. Anyways. Oh. If I could kill that. Nah, that's not gonna happen. Oh, uh, let's see here. Kits. There has been a lot of talk between me and my friends about kits being uh, changed and altered. And that was actually one of the things we were really hoping for. And we finally got it. Yes, you are. Yep, he's pretty good. Anyways, uh, let's see here. Oh, sorry. Red yawning, bit tired. I've been doing stuff lately that's keeping me up all night. Constantly. Mm, let's see here. I still like that. Ah, uh, let's see here. I'm just randomly going somewhere. Yeah, uh, I've been. 
Now, I was still thinking of going for the, um, making a Ships of the Line video. Just being busy and being, uh, rethinking of redoing certain things wouldn't take much for me to do so. But then again, there's always a bit of a issues with uh, most things. Yeah, kids got certain things. I got a whole boost. We're thinking, oh, it's going to be some specialized. Uh, At least they haven't started taking the ship apart yet. Why? Anyways, oh, uh, let's see here. We need to work together. I was the helm officer on the Enterprise before everything went to hell. But I'm really handy with heavy machinery, like those clamps, clamps. holding the ship. And I know I could take care of those and get us free. If you need me to do something else, and maybe I can work on that web sheet. Power. We need to work together. So you take you care do? of tractor beams. I am here to assist. My first posting in Starfleet was to an ambassador class vessel. I am familiar with most of the ship's systems, but I spent several months so working on a okay. research ship of the ship's powers. computer. I am confident I can restore the ship's power levels quickly. Also, I am here to so clams. We don't have much time. I know a few tricks to take that tractor beam system offline. I'm also fairly confident that tractor with enough beam. time, I can release the docking Shit. clamps holding. We don't have much time. Okay, yeah, just the one thing I wanted to do. <laughs> don't quit your day job. Anyways, uh, yeah, we we're talking about kits of which ones you actually would like, getting the powers you want and whatnot. And that would have been pretty much, you know, the thing we were talking about. So we finally got that. And... Yeah, that would have been the thing we were wanting to have for Star Trek Online. Now that we finally got Power it... Siphon is disconnected. Hmm? Okay. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and oh, I left behind news. Anyways, uh, let's see here. What we're we talking about? Kits? Yeah, customize your kits the way you want, certain powers you want. All good. Okay, and I thought you deactivated all the security protocols. Well, that wasn't my job. Also, too, it wasn't my fault. Anyways. She's quite a ship. Yep, just wanted It's too it. bad we'll have to sacrifice her to restore the timeline. Again. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much about the whole thing. Kids getting the you things want that they wanted that? and being awesome person. about. Ah, uh, let's see here. Nah, no, that's pretty much about it. Having trouble? You do know that we could have Tholians swarming us any minute, right? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> Seriously. I thought we took care of everything. Starfleet Protocol 547C clearly states... I don't that think the Tholians have heard of Protocol 547C. Ha ha ha, putting her in her place. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, to summarize, because I pretty much forgot here, uh, Kenpex, uh Let's Plays are going to be really short. And most likely I'll probably be... Hello, what the... I'm back in my uniform already? That's weird. No matter what, this is still a pretty ship. Just those nacelles. Ah, whatever. The ship is pretty. 
Uh, let's see here. What else? Yeah, it's all scrunched together. Captain, I'm detecting Tholian mesh weavers headed for our position. Great. I just know it doesn't. Hmm. That needs to be changed later on. Anyways, uh, let's see here. What else? What's been patching me? Yeah, except for a few things, nothing else. Yeah, I'm pretty Way is clear. That's my. Okay. Ah, uh, that's over. Ah, uh, let's see here. Yeah, Kempex is looking to be uh, pretty uh, empty uh, soon. You know, very limited on his let's plays uh, capabilities, and yeah, pretty much the assortment of sort of things happening to begin with. So his Let's Plays is going to be sh uh, shorter than usual. So he's only going to pop up, like, rarely, I think. I'm not sure. For all I know, I'll still continue on. It's just the featured episodes may or may not be influenced by it. I'm sure you've realized by now, you're part of a very different timeline. This one is an aberration that we are here to correct. It would be irresponsible of us to let you go back in time with the Enterprise-C and compromise that timeline as well. We'll send you back to your time. There are still some very important events in the 25th century that you need to be a part of. As soon as the Enterprise C returns to its correct place in history, the timeline should right itself. So, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, of course, I keep forgetting something in my head. Oh, yeah. Um, his, uh, his Let's Plays, I know I'm probably rambling on about certain things, is he's going to be limited on his Let's Plays, and, and I believe that his Let's Plays will pick back up once... Um, we get to a point where we are in the Cardassian front. Otherwise, his Let's Plays is going to be a bit random. It's going to be sketchy at best. Most likely, I'll probably go through the whole point of the uh, a few featured episodes, get him done, get him to a certain point, who knows. But I have no idea. Just the only thing I could think of is... It's really odd. It's really off. Let's put it that way. 
In fact, hang on, before I really do end this, I want to point out a few uh, episodes. Yeah, Spectres. This would have been a uh, a good point to actually have it in either Warzone or Empire. Actually, no, not Empire. Uh, definitely in Warzone. Yeah, like after uh, Warzone, because you're still in the Eta Eridani sector block. So this would have been a perfect time to have Spectres into Warzone. Just immediately after, keep your enemies closer. That would have been a perfect timing to have Spectres in there. Otherwise, uh, Romulan Mystery? I would like to see more uh, Romulan-based missions from the Klingon Empire. Otherwise, the rest is like copy and paste of the same thing that the Federation gets. I hate to say it. Except for the Salone Dyson uh, Sphere missions, which is actually uh, really uni uh, not really uniformal. It's more. I was gonna say uh, it's definitely more of. It's more balanced I would say it's more neutral let's put it that way it's more faction neutral so that's going to be good otherwise everything else this is basically faction neutral as well specters it's actually federation or Klingon not really faction neutral but it's there same thing with this uh, that's pretty much about it Yeah. Anyways, I'll definitely go ahead and uh, end this. Thank you for watching this particular episode of, or not, well, yeah, this particular episode of Star Trek Online Let's Plays and the finale of Season 2 Let's Plays. We will have a mid-season uh, event known as Season uh, 2.5. And this is called uh, Paradise Falls. And I will see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.